everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters, and I have something really exciting to share with you today. Uh, you guys might remember back a couple years ago, I bought a massive uh, model car kit collection. There was close to 2,000 kits, uh, tons of accessories, all that kind of stuff. Did a video on it, and I know lots of you guys loved looking at all the nostalgia stuff. Well, I just blew that one away. I just purchased a massive collection. This one is 3,000 kits. And it, it is a model car collection, but it has everything under the rainbow. I've been looking at pictures that the uh, the gentleman sent me that uh, of the kits that are coming in, and it's incredible. So there's all kinds of accessories and wheels and tires, resin, a couple hundred resin bodies, uh, and then thousands of kits from right up to today uh, to 60s and uh, maybe even 50s. I think maybe 60s and 70s mainly, but some really incredible stuff. Some stuff I've never seen before in my life just based on the pictures. It is all supposed to arrive today. And, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you over to the corner to the uh, part of my store that I've cleaned out, getting ready for it to show you what it looks like before. So once you see the before, and then as soon as I'm done with that and all the stuff shows up, uh, I'll show you the after. And uh, hopefully it'll all fit back there because 3,000 kits is a lot of model car kits. So I mean, like I said, very excited to share this with you. So. Let's get started. Okay guys, what I thought I would do is first give you a little before video. And this is the back area of the store. I got in here early in anticipation of this monster collection coming in. And kind of just set all the tables up just like, uh, kind of like a bottle swap meet. And you see that big pile right there in the middle? That is from a collection I got about a week ago. And I hope to get one more table right here in with the white tables. Uh, hopefully it shows up like it's supposed to. And this whole area will be nothing but stacks and stacks and stacks of thousands of model cars. Uh, hopefully it'll all fit back here. It looks like it's going to be a lot of stuff, but I'm excited to get it. So, uh, give you a little video footage of what it looks like before, and then I'll try to get the same angle and show you what it looks like once it's full over here. Okay, guys, it is Sunday morning, and uh, yesterday this showed up all the way back then. I remember these couple of kits are up here in the front. We're already here. And I came in on a Sunday, my day off here, to start going through all of this stuff. So, but I want to just give you a general idea of what we're looking at here. And I brought my friend in, Lucas C. He's our resident car uh, expert. And look at what we've got here. Look at this stuff over here, man. This is stuff I found out. yesterday in the first couple of boxes. <laughs> all of this Johan stuff. And you were telling me too, I'm glad I brought him in because he was telling me these like these testers kits right here. Those are, like you said, an, an old Johan kit. Those are Reeboks Johans from Real the early box 90s. Johan. Oh, some of these kits don't belong, just Model King. We just kind of threw some stuff on top here. But just give you a general idea. These, these boxes right here, we're going through each one and just piling them up like this just to kind of organize as best we can because we've got all of this stuff to go through. <laughs> and all of this stuff too and it goes far back too so each one of these boxes is 35 to 40 kits i think they said yeah and i'll kind of go back here it goes all the way back up against the wall in there it's so tiny. after everything is said and done and i'm going to try to hold the camera as steady as possible as long as you don't have me do <laughs> right about uh just under three thousand, not counting the uh the accessories and stuff which i'm going to show you down there so here's some more of those kits i started unboxing just pile through and i'm going to give you a little little better shot i just thought it's kind of cool that at this point where everything is just kind of let's call it discombobulated here because <laughs> there's so much stuff um I'm going to show you how the sausage is made, basically. So when I show you the next couple of scenes, we're going to show you a cleaned up place with boxes in order, things like that. But in the meantime, this is what I'm dealing with right here. So all kinds of stuff. And of course, I will go through all those accessories and resin bodies to let you take a look at those in a few minutes, too. So give me a couple hours, guys, and I will be back with you. Okay, <laughs> it's been about four hours of organizing and 
Still got a lot, lot to do. All I've done so far is to get out all of these kits, check them out. Uh, one good thing about this collection was uh, the man who had all this stuff, he did not bother messing with the stuff inside. Opened up the outside package and left everything pretty much mint inside the kit. So that is very helpful. And as we come around here, I'm going to show you. I'm, I'm trying to organize stuff the best as possible. We've got all the car kits going through them little by little. As you see back there, there are still 46 boxes, I think. So there's at least another 13, 1400 kits that I've yet to take out of there. I'm going to keep working on those all day today. But I'm just going to slowly just let you pan. Now, a lot of this stuff here is modern, up-to-date stuff. But we have a lot of stuff in here, too, that drops back to the 80s, 90s, 2000s. And then, of course, got lots of, of in here. And on down on the bottom down here. And as we come around the corner, more stacked up over here. I plan on stacking more as I work throughout the day. More down over here. So you can see there is a lot, a lot of kits to go through here. And then, of course, there's a bunch down here on the bottom as well. So this back area is very, very full up. As we go right over around the corner here, started putting together a lot of the bigger kits, like some of the, uh, yeah, because it keeps going around the corner here too. Here's all some of the big rigs. Um, and... I even had to start stacking it in the back room over here, too. There's all kinds of accessories. which I'm going to open up some of these boxes right now of the accessories, kind of dump them out on the table. And then I'm also going to show you some of this kind of stuff that we uh, just opened up. But I'll show you a little bit closer of that in just a minute. Okay, guys, I went and set up a table right now. And that is because what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start dumping out some of these accessory bins just to kind of show you just all of the stuff that is in here so this is a, a company called uh, vcg resins by reese and there's all kinds of stuff in there there's wheels and blowers and looks like seats here and rear ends <laughs> and, uh, looks like there's engine packs in here here's an engine here boy this is a whole bunch of stuff right inside here all kinds of stuff like that and this is one of the smaller boxes so this is all resin products every kind of thing you can imagine in here here's a, here's a looks like a whole chevy hot rod engine all inside one little package here so lots and lots of stuff like that let's see there let's move on to the next box okay i got that one all cleaned up and now i've got another box of tires and wheels and this one looks like it has got a ton of pegasus stuff inside here these are very nice already ready to go yeah there's lots of pegasus inside here some of their racing slicks all kinds of tires like and wheels like this set so this is the, this is the fun part of uh going through a collection uh, I've obviously over the years by many, many collections, never this large. I mean, 3000 kits plus thousands of these accessories here is a lot of product and it takes a long, long time to go through because you want to check out everything to make sure uh, if something you're looking at is complete or, or what it is, or, you know, is it just, is it throw it in the, uh, the $1 bin or is it worth a lot of money? You just never know. So there's a lot of, a lot of prep goes into doing a collection like this. Normally, the collections I buy are 50 to 100 kits. Sometimes you get a 200 kit collection. But when you get a, a 3,000 kit collection, yeah, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun there. I, I don't build a lot of cars, but I get super excited just seeing all of this stuff. Because I remember this stuff. I've owned a hobby store for over 20 years now. Um, actually, almost 30 years now. And it's fun seeing all the stuff that, boy, I haven't seen that forever. And it's just a really cool process. So I'm going to pack all this stuff back up inside the box and start dumping some more boxes out and then show you all the resin, or show you some of the resin bodies, I should say. Uh, and we'll do that right now. Actually, I found one other box I want to show you guys before I start showing you the resin parts. And it's another box of wheels and tires. And we have everything in here. We've got the old MRC muscle up, uh, muscle car hop up sets, uh, stuff from Aoshima, 
lots of those in there. And then if you look further inside here, you're gonna see all of those red boxes on the bottom. These are all of the AMT tire sets. And it looks like he had quite a few different ones. These looks like these are duplicates, but man, look at all the ones that are in there. So quite a bit of stuff. And I think there's actually even two more boxes of things kind of like this stuff here, just like I've been showing you over the last couple ones. But I thought I'd just give you guys an idea since this is still like opening, opening part of going through a collection, seeing all the stuff that's inside. It's a lot, a lot of fun. So let's see if I can dig out those resin kits now. Okay, here we go. I just took this, uh, the top box off right here. Here is a box of uh, resin car bodies. And you see we have stuff by Star Models and uh, a few other different companies in here. And some of these, I'm not even quite sure what these are right here. Crack this open here. They're all wrapped up inside there. There we go. So there's a nice resin car body. I'll repack that later or things from like Star Models. Oh, so this one comes with, you looks like you've got your, your clear parts out of uh, blow molded plastic or vacuum formed, I should say, not blow molded. And uh, wheels, tires, and then the actual kit itself. So it looks like there's quite a bit inside these. Let's see actually what this looks like. Luca was saying Star Models are pretty good quality, so. Oh yeah, look, so you get, as I drop it, so here's the body, here's your chassis, and the tub. There it is right there. So, almost everything you need to build, a, oh, actually, I take it back, there's more. Here's the fenders, steering wheel, geez, yeah, there's just about everything in this kit almost to, uh, to build up a complete kit, so... I see what he's talking about, that they're nice looking. So lots of this stuff. And actually, I think there is a grand total of four boxes like this. From what I understand, there's supposed to be about 200 uh, resin bodies total in this collection. And like I said, this is still early on. I'm still just digging through all of this stuff. And I thought this was a good one to start off. Let me grab one more and just kind of flash it in front of you so you can take a quick look. Okay, here's another box, and this is double stacked, double high. So there's a, another row underneath here because it's a very tall box and taped up. So looks like this one's got lots of Jimmy Flintstone in it, some of his newer stuff. And then there's more stuff like this, model roundup. And some, and like I said, double stacked because there's a whole nother row on the underneath all of this stuff here. So these, I don't think are complete kits. I think these are conversion kits but uh, lots and lots of stuff to go through. And now the thing most of you are probably waiting to see, some of the old vintage kits. And I've only opened probably 45% probably of the boxes, not even halfway yet. And this is some of the old vintage stuff that I found in there. So those boxes I showed you earlier, I am sure that there's more of this stuff inside there. I literally just don't have the room right now to unbox all of those, but I'm gonna, like I said, gradually pull, pull them out. But I wanted to show you some of this kind of stuff right now and how cool this is. So um, just such a blast to the past. So here's something like the, uh, the Johan Plymouth Fury Police Pursuit Car. And you'll notice when we get inside here, we've got everything inside here all the different parts, the instructions. Ooh, look at that. Even got our decals inside there. Don't know if they'll still work after, what? Is it about 60 years, 50? At least 50 years, these are old, so. And I was looking at this earlier too. So here's another version of that. And you'll notice that they changed the color of plastic to a lighter blue. So it looks like it was whatever plastic color they had on hand that day when they were shooting these kits, so. And then we've got like things like this, this Mustang Digger funny car. You see what I'm talking about? Everything inside his collection, very, very good condition. Um, I mean, geez, this thing is still completely sealed inside there. All the tires, all of that stuff are all sealed up in there. So that's in a really nice condition. And uh, Lucas C was kind enough to help me. He was going through some of the boxes. That's how, every time he saw something that was cool, he would grab a side, throw into a pile so I can show you guys. He was showing me things like this. This is a tester's kit. Yeah, oh, it's just a tester's kit. Well, 
from what I understand, this 71 Comet was actually a repop of the Johan kit. He got their molds and they were able to repop that out. So I guess this one is kind of, and actually this kit is already, already 25 years old. So it's, it's been gone a while too. Or we've got things like this, like this 69 super stock SC Rambler. See, you can see how well, not everything falling off the sprues. Just really look nice looking stuff. And it's, I love the blast to the past uh, aspect of this. So you can look at this and go, man, this is, this is the way it looked on the racks back in the uh, the 60s and, and 70s. And I, I was born in 69, so I didn't get to see this kind of stuff on the rack. I remember mid 70s seeing some, some cars and I was mainly into airplanes though when I was a little kid. Let me slide this out of the way and bring this one over here. We've got some other unusual stuff. I shouldn't say unusual. We have some more really cool old stuff. Here's another police emergency wagon or a police emergency wagon, another police car. That's kind of interesting looking right there. And then we've got like a 69 AMX, a Maverick Pro Stock, even a uh, taxi snap together kit. Another one of those Comet Pro Streets. And then some of the other stuff here, like the Torino, the Superbird. This is kind of cool looking right here. I don't think I've ever seen this one in my hand before. I've seen of it, but. So I'm going to go put these two away for a bit and see if I can find just a couple more things that you can take a look at uh, before I finish this video up, because obviously I have a lot of work to get moving on uh, and start unpacking more stuff. And finally, I am going to show you the pile of big trucks that I've started to accumulate. Looks like there are some old ones and some new ones, some reboxing. We've got the trailers. Also a bunch of the gas stations. Looks like two Texaco, two Joes from MRC. Those are kind of cool if you're building dioramas. Well, there you go guys. There is the first look at this massive, massive collection. Like I said, biggest one I've ever purchased. In fact, it makes the uh, the collection I bought uh, two years ago now look really, a little small even compared to this year. One quick thing though, I have to tell you guys, this collection, none of this is going on the website. None of this is available for mail order because the idea that most of these are open, don't do any mail order, all that. It's it's anyone who comes into the store and they can buy it right here. Sorry about that, but it's it's just too hard to do mail order with individual items on that because so much of this stuff is gonna sell very quickly. By the time if you were to call or email, some of that stuff would be gone. And then trying to, uh, with the amount of work we have to do already to get all this organized, trying to pull individual kits and stuff is just unfortunately not possible right now on it. But uh, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like that, like I said, I got a lot more boxes to go through over there. Please go ahead and hit the thumbs up button down below. And if you'd like to, go ahead and subscribe. And that way you'll be notified every time a new video comes up. Because there's at least one more video on this giant pile. Because there's more than half of the kit collection sitting over there. So yeah, it's... Uh, a lot of work, uh, but I'm having fun. It's like a blast down, uh, blast to the past, walk down memory lane, whatever you want to call it right there, but it's a lot of, lot of fun. So I want to take this opportunity to thank you as always for watching and please stay tuned because I have many more videos coming.